Take on me. Take on me. Take me home. Wow. Ah! Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 154. You're a movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> where, where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right. And this week, we watched... <laughs> Killer Pinata. Killer Pinata. Yes. Man, oh man. Man. Long time coming. Yeah. We've been talking about watching this now for, what, a year? Quite a while. So we, Pretty I, much since we came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> Got it in a horror pack. It's a horror pack exclusive limited edition Blu-ray. So, hey. Mm, we'll get to that later. So you won't get that copy? No. Nope. But I figured, since his birthday is this month, ah. this week, the other day. Two days ago. Two days ago. A which week will be ago a week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> figured I'd give him a pinata for his birthday. Was, oh, it was everything I wanted and more. Yeah. I figured, hey, why not, right? Right. Oh. oh. Okay. This movie, Killer Pinata, 2015, nope. not rated, nope. 87 minutes long. Yep, yep. Directed by Steven Tramatana. Tr Tranny Montana. Trana. Steven Tramatana, I think. Troma. I think it's an A. Oh. I think Troma. Well, you wrote it. I know, we were in the car. Uh, Directed by Steve. Yeah, hey, works. Steve. Hey. Starring, or involving, or having. This movie had these following people in it. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Ashcroft. Yep. And Billy Changary. 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 So what was this about? Uh, so Charles Lee Ray, <laughs> serial killer extraordinaire, <laughs> dies. Yep. And his soul goes into a piñata. Oh. And... Uh, gra Mexican Grandma Donald Pleasance <laughs> is the only one who knows what's going on. So it's like a mix of uh, Child's Play and Halloween, pretty much. With a pinata. Yeah. It, it was... Actually, I, I gotta say, the motivation was a little strange, because the guy was a nice guy. Right. And his co-workers were dicks to him, and accidentally dropped him into a giant paper shredder. <laughs> pretty much. At a pinata factory. At a pinata factory, and so his, his spirit possessed a Pinata, and then yep. started killing people, but they never really say why he started killing people, other than it, it, it kind of he was just grumpy. Yeah, it kind of they kind of hinted that he was mad that they were he his other fellow pinatas were being killed. I guess, but I don't know, dude. You worked at a pinata factory; you had to know what they were doing with them. Yeah, that's why you made them. That's their whole point. Also, are there pinata factories? I, the, I guess I always figured I, they were I just like. Handmade or something. They're not. Just cardboard? Uh, yeah. And there's glue. not much to them. I don't think about it being a factory. But I'm, I don't maybe. know. Maybe. Pinata makers, tell us we're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> so, what do we enjoy about this movie? Um. <laughs> the. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like the pinata. Yeah. That was um, highly amusing. Yeah, it was fucking hilarious. And the puppet that they used, because they did use a puppet for a lot of the yeah, scenes with had the pinata. And it was really cool. Yeah, they made the pinata move. Yeah. Which I thought was awesome. Yeah. And all of the movement was within the range of what a pinata would be able to do. Like moving yeah. the head yeah. and, and things like that. Like Old, no, La old Lady Loomis. Yeah. She was great. So there's there's a character, um, little sweet Mexican grandma with a hook for a hand. I don't quite understand. Which they why. never did no, but, say. Okay. Made. Hey, I won't question it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, she was hilarious. Yep. And she filled that Dr. Loomis role yep. perfectly. Yeah. Like, I could hear in the back of my head, I could hear Donald Pleasant saying, The Pinato Kill Again! Um, uh, yeah. That's true. Uh, it was. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we are off today. Are we? I don't know. I don't know. It feels like we are. We're always off, though. That's true. In the rocker. Well, it's because we're dumb. Right. <laughs> I like the uh, the silly story and the silly premise. Yes. It's just goofy. It reminds me of Carousel. Right? Yeah, actually. Right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of that, kind of just weird. What, this... like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who thinks of this kind of thing? Right. Who looks at a pinata and is like, you know, I could probably make a horror movie out of this. I would. Well. 
You know, but I like that as your answer, <laughs> right? The goofiness, the yeah. silliness of it. That's cool. I like that. And, and they, I thought they executed it really well. Yeah, I mean, it was. this was fun. Yeah, it's a mindless... That's the biggest thing. It's mindless fun. You can't yeah. take it seriously, obviously. I mean, you're not going to watch a movie called Killer Pinata and be like, oh man, it's going to be horrifying. This is going to be a very serious movie. No, no. Holy crap. The score to this movie yeah. was really fucking solid. Like, pro-level yeah. horror movie score. Sounded good. Yeah, and it right out of the gate, man. That was the first thing we said. It was like, whoa. Yeah. The score is cool. A lot of, like, uh, almost... John Carpenter-esque a little bit? Absolutely. I love that stuff. I, I know about 10 minutes in, I was thinking, did the composer think he was working on a different movie? Right. Yeah, Be because... Because it sounded really, really good. Like, it would fit in a serious horror movie. Yeah. It's made I, him a butthole pucker. <laughs> and the music, too, along with the scores. It, just, it would fit. Yeah. It, well, it was a silly movie, so it didn't necessarily fit, but yeah. it worked. It, but worked. it worked. And it made scenes that weren't really much going on make it feel kind of... This is cool. Oh, I like that. Blah, blah, blah. For being an indie low budget movie, it was shot really well. It was shot really, really well. Really well. The camera work was whole. Oh. Steady cam. Yeah. There was no shaking at all. No shaking at all. Um, it looked good. The quality, you know, there's a lot of indie movies that look like poo. Yeah. Which we've done a few. No, no. Uh, you know. No. <laughs> we've never done <coughs> any. No. But it looked really cool. It looked good. And, you, I mean, that's, uh, there's no graininess. There's <laughs> There was a scene in there, uh, it's a point of view shot from the pinata. Ah. <laughs> That's a sentence that I said. It is. It's a point of view shot from the pinata. Pinata gets knocked across the room, so the camera goes flying with it, and you see it land, and then get back up, and all you can see is the ears of the pinata. And then, like, it picks up a bat, <laughs> and it starts charging to attack. Yeah. The whole thing looked beautiful. It's like the camera's on its back or yeah. something attached to it, and it didn't shake or nothing. It was awesome. It was really, really well done. It actually it reminded me a lot of the evil cam from Evil Dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is, especially when it was flying through yeah. the air. Yeah. Um, and to go along with the camera work and the quality of that, the sound was actually pretty good. Yeah. There was no, like, clipping, and you could hear everything, you know, uh... I, I, like the audio, the vocal yeah, quality it, was really solid. Yeah, and, it was all edited pretty well. Yeah, which is always nice to see in these kind of movies. The, the grunting from the pinata was was really clear. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a rabid weasel. It did. It did. <laughs> I just realized that weasel pinata. <laughs> I'm. The more we talk about this, the more impressed I am with this movie. Yeah. No, it was, it was cool. I might redo my score. This is one of the most original kills I've ever seen. Dude died from eating poisoned, pooped out candy. That was original and unique. Never seen that before? No. Probably I, never see that again. <laughs> uh, the whole campy vibe. Oh. We are, no, we didn't say that yet. Yeah, the whole campy, silly, goofy vibe. It's just, it, it's just fun. It's goofy. I like it. You know, it's, of course you got to be in that mindset for that. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but hey, for what it is, it was don't, well done. Don't sit down to this expecting a very serious horror movie. No. And if you do, you're fucking stupid. The movie's called Killer Pinata. Oh, yeah, yeah. The effects were decent enough. Yeah, there uh, wasn't a ton. No. You know, uh, but... The, Not a lot of gore, especially. No. Yeah, a little... For what was there, you know, it, it was okay. Yeah. You know, they did what they could do. Uh, you know, the, the the biggest effect part was the wiener part. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, camera work we already talked about. Yeah. The sound we already talked about. Premise we talked about. Yeah. Oh, that. premature. <laughs> What's that say? <laughs> premature ejaculation? No, uh, the animation exposition. Oh yeah, I like that. I thought that was cool. Just a brief, you know, old lady Loomis uh, just basically gives the exposition. She grows her wings along with her purple hat, and she becomes the exposition fairy. And, oh, uh, right. And then, um, or you know, or whatever you would call it. Um, thank you. I liked it. The the animation was super rough. Well, sure. I but mean, hey. you are not talking Hanna Barbera level here. <laughs> no, this was like uh, City of Rot. Did you ever see oh, that yeah. movie? Yep, I sure yeah. Did. This the animation in this reminded me of that. Yeah, I can see that. It was really rough. Yeah, but hey, still but it cool. worked. It worked. It worked. It worked really well for this. I think. Yeah. So, what didn't you like, Rob? The acting. Oh. <laughs> now it wasn't the worst I've ever seen. They did a fine enough job with what they had to do, but none of them were actors that 
really connect. Yeah, the characters are all douchebags, stereotypical yeah. dudes. I, I was, not. dude, I was cheering for the pinata the whole time. Yeah, me like, too. I, I want the pinata to kill everyone and win. Come on, peeny. That <laughs> the pacing was a little <laughs> off. You know, I, I mean, it wasn't like boring per se. I mean, it was amusing enough and silly enough that it, we were in the movie the whole time. But it yeah, just there, were a couple, there were a couple scenes that were just kind of like... dragged uh, on. It's kind of weird. It's like, okay, come on, get to the point. Dude getting a blowjob from a pinata, which went on way too long. And he was far too happy about and it. And you could see, I'm assuming, prosthetic wang, although there was hair sprouting out of it. So it may not have been prosthetic wang? It was something. It was something. But... Eh, it is what it is. There was a lack of gore. There wasn't a ton of gore. There wasn't much. Uh, now nah, it didn't necessarily bother me, but it, I, I could have used more gore. Yeah. And like Carousel, that's one of the reasons I loved Carousel so much, because it was silly, campy, but it had a lot of cool gore. Yeah. More gore would have been nice. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no boobs. There was no boobs. Which, from, ah, mm. ah, I go back and forth. I think I might be okay that there were no boobs yeah. in this movie. Yeah, me too. Um, there, there was a scene of, of the girl running around in her granny panties. Yeah, there's cleavage and stuff like that, and gra yeah, granny, granny panties. panties. And, and I mean, when I say granny panties, I mean they were like up to her rib cage. Yeah. So we talked about the weenie scene. So it went on to it was funny as hell. It was hilarious. It was fun. Yes, it, it made us laugh, but it went on too long. The guy was far too happy about it. And it just, it, it zoomed in even on the severed schlink. You know, and that's where it was getting to be too long for me. Yeah. Like, the whole pinata giving him a blowjob, that bit was pretty funny, actually. I yeah. was laughing enough that it, it didn't seem like it went long. It was him bleeding to death through his dick. Yeah, and it kept showing it. And it kept it's showing just... it. And it's like, this, okay, let's... Yeah. let's move things up a little bit here. Also, it would take you way longer than that to bleed to death. True. You drained in the main vein. But it, it, it did seem to go too long. It did. Yeah. It's just, we saw that it was cut off. That was that was good enough. Not enough Glumbus? Not enough Grandma Lewis. Lewis. Oh, oh Lewis. yeah, yeah, Grandma Lewis, man. She was great. She was honestly my favorite part of this movie. Yeah, she was great. Uh, although I she, want to see her in, in other stuff. Yeah, she was She was funny. I don't know who the hell she was. Yeah. But she was an old lady. Uh, with a hook for a hand. With a hook, and for they a never explain why. But her right hand was a hook. Yeah. They never say why. It just it is. It was it, just it there. Just deal with it. Urban legend part nine. You yeah. know. Uh. <laughs> I like that. She was a great character. She was a great actress. Yeah. She did speak in a lot of Spanish though, and there's no subtitles. So if you don't really know Spanish, you're sitting there going, "What the hell is she saying?" I, I don't know Spanish. I understood most of what yeah. she said. I there mean, were there were a couple of words she threw in that was like, "Ooh, I don't, I don't know that one." But yeah. most of it I understood. And I don't crazy. speak Spanish, right? Yeah. Oh no, not that's an issue. But no. for some, that might be annoying. Or no habla español. Ah, ooh, speako ingleso. Uh, the biggest thing, and I think this ties in with the not enough action, and with most of our complaints. To be honest, this movie was not enough over the top. You're doing a movie about a killer fucking pinata. Yeah. You don't have to be serious. No. Embrace the bullshit that you're doing. Yeah. Go way over the top with it. I mean, it was a little, obviously, to begin, but it should have been more. Yeah. It, I completely agree. Uh, and the pinata didn't talk. If it would have talked, that would have added, you know, to the humor, to the amusement. It, it would have been funny. It just would have been yeah. better. You know, eh. For what this movie was, it was fun. It was amusing. It's not great. No. It's not bad. No. You know, it's uh It is a movie about a killer pinata, and I can guarantee you you've never seen anything else like that. Right. So what what are you? <laughs> Holy crap, are you playing a chainsaw? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my. So what are you gonna rate this thing? Uh you know. I really liked it. It was fun. Uh, but there were a lot of things wrong with it. Mm. I'm sorry. It just, it is. Uh, so I'll go four and a half out of eight. That's it, solid. It's, it's above average, yeah. but not by much. Not by much. A and again, had you guys pushed it over the top with this, you would have had an eight. Like, if you had gone full on, embrace what you're doing, this would have been an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very true. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty much in the same boat with you. 
Um, it was amusing. It was fun. I'm glad we watched it. I don't know if I would recommend it per se, but I would no. say, you know, if you want to watch it at your own risk, watch it. I don't know where you can find it. I got it in Horror Pack. Uh, so I'm going to go five out of eight. You yeah. know, just a little bit more than you. But a little. Yeah. That doesn't happen very often. No, not lately anyway. Shout out this week. I'm going to shout out Horror Pack. Yeah. Uh, which is a monthly subscription. You can get Blu-rays or DVDs or both if you want. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> right, no. Um, mm. I've, I've, uh... But Horror Pack, if you want to sponsor us, literally, this show costs us nothing to make. Nope. So your sponsorship would just go to getting us coffee. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but Horror Pack's awesome. I've been a member since mid-2016. It's been, it's been a while, yeah. It's been quite a while, and I, I renew every year. Uh, you know, you get sometimes some big-name movies. Mm -hmm. You get indie gems like this one. Um, movies you never heard of, which I love. That's why it's worth it to me. You know, if you're a collector, you do get duplicates sometimes, but you can gift them out or you can sell them or whatever. So, <laughs> if you happen to be the neighbor of someone who gets Horror Pack, who gets a duplicate, a lot of times he's just like, hey, here, take this. Here, I got this one. Have this one. Or sometimes I just grab it out of his mailbox before he gets home. Well, yeah, I wonder why I'm missing one every now and then. <laughs> but it's relatively cheap. It's worth it. Uh, definitely check it out. Try it out for a month. You can do monthly, three months. Six months or a year. Uh, <laughs> if, 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 you know, e -b -e -b -e -b -e -b Facebook.com <laughs> slash Stupid Movies. Yep. At Stupid Movies, at The Horror Punk, at Dr. Sketch Turner, Stupid Movies at Outlook.com. Yes. Nice job. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dudes. Kind of pick up on the pinata's emotions by looking at it eyes at its. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they, they did. I thought they did a cool job with uh, making it. Yeah, what he said. I said yeah. yeah. It flew days. off into the nether world. Okay, we'll grab that and we'll just stick it right back in there. <laughs>